my, my party um, and elements in my party, uh, the collateral effect is that we may then be seen as a party. We will suffer this, even though it's not an NPP policy, yeah. but because there are elements of the NPP, this kind of actions may be seen as the NPP being afraid of a John Mahama candidature. So that is, and that would empower the NDC. Because in real terms, President Mahama's candidature presents the easiest option <laughs> for the NPP. Yeah, that's what you think. It, it presents the easiest option for the NPP. John Mahama will be easier to defeat than any of the other candidates. And for a very simple reason. If you brought in Abba Mbagbe, or Sylvester Mesa, or any of them, they can come and capitalize on the perceived omissions of the Akufado presidency, and also come and make all kinds of lofty claims. And we'll have nothing to hold them by. But in the case of a President Mahama candidature, if he says he's going to do A, B, C, there is the track record of what he said and what he did or could not do during the term that he was president. But there's that track record. Mm. So a, a John Mahama Akufuado contest would be the record of Akufuado presidency against the record of the John Mahama president. And that's what, that's what some analysts say, that Akufuado can't stand. Akufuado has not finished. Because He's, when it comes to the questions of the infrastructural record, which is very important to the voters, then no, he will no. have... You, you, will check have the, you check the timelines. He will, will have time little lines. to show yeah. as against John no, no, Mahama. No, no, check the timelines. Mm. Okay. Specific infrastructure. They, they won't do that. Yeah. They no, will but, they'll but combine we, all yeah, the NDC yeah, period. They say John Mahama. So ma no, so <laughs> eight years of NDC, <laughs> yeah, ma eight years of Mills Mahama, yes. because some of those projects began under Mills. Okay, right. And no, even much, got much completed as, uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. Much as I agree with uh, my brother. Can, can I finish? My, can, can I finish? Can come so why is it that when you no, could be interjecting, you don't no. know? <laughs> because you do it too frequently. Come on, You do it too frequently. <laughs> now, uh, something. Yes. You see, even this matter of uh, infrastructure and so on doesn't arise because Akufuado has not finished his term of the presidency. And indeed, he himself has said that the best is yet to come. So let's wait and see what Akufuado will do over the next two years. Mm. And also, the John Mahama record is not just about infrastructure. Because it is in the light of all of this supposed infrastructure that he suffered the heaviest defeat of an incumbent president probably in Africa. It's in the light of this so-called achievement. That, he, that the, Ghanaians, the Ghanaian people rejected by the heaviest margin against an incumbent president, probably in the whole Africa. So what is that record? What, 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 how do you estimate that record? Okay. So for me, if you brought a President Mahama, I'm happy. Because then we're just going to dig up his record. So if he came and said, I'm going to do A, B, C, D, we'll go back to his record. Recently, he had said something about the economy. The NP people went and brought uh, something he had said on some interview. And you know, it, it, it made what he had said a bit shaky. Because he had said something in an interview that he himself was contradicting when, when it, they were put side by side. So elements of the NPP should be careful about doing things that can be interpreted as the NPP being afraid of a John Mahama presidency. But, the NPP but for as long as what is being done gets some people in the NDC, particularly in the rural communities, to be worried. It benefits the N N N NPP because the worry is that he, he can't become president and there's no point voting for him. And the, the campaign is that, well, if you did, he becomes president and there may be a suit that will remove him. <laughs> Because it's, it's it will be unsustainable. I think I, I think we An unsustainable mm, campaign. Su subsidy. Those of us who have done a little campaign, we learn never to underestimate the ability of the voter. Mm. Never to okay. do that.
If you do that, you do that at your peril. Okay. If you imagine that a Ghanaian, this Ghanaian voter, when I hadn't started primary school, mm. he was being described as the most sophisticated electorate in Africa. Way, way back in the 70s, the Ghanaian voter. So <laughs> if you went there and thought that the, uh, a lot of governments come and do propaganda, and they say, oh, the rural folk, they, they, this thing, if you don't go and respond, the rural folk, the rural folk, the rural folk. Look at the votes of the rural folks against uh, the, the la in the last election. So we shouldn't underestimate them. Okay. For me, the NPP should be praying quietly for President Mahama to emerge. When he emerges, or if he emerges, because of his record, anything that he comes to promise the Ghanaian electorate will have a reference point. And it, it will be a, an easier contest than if you brought in a fresh person who would then now come <coughs> and, and come with a clean sheet and pr make all kinds of promises, and you wouldn't have anything to hold him by. Okay. Thank you very much.